I'm sitting with here a man who's not even close to me. He's so far away, Anderson Cooper. Where are you, sir? Uh, I'm in New York. In New York? Isn't that wonderful? And aren't you the spirit? Everyone loves you. What makes you so hip and hot? What's your secret, <laughs> sir? <laughs> um, well, I don't know. I, I don't, uh, I don't oh, think no, I'm very I don't hip, either, so... Because I've seen the <laughs> So I'm a little confused. You do a show, you do a show called 360. It's on for 360 minutes. Isn't that a long time to be in the air? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's, uh, the kids call it 360, um, but uh, no, it's only on for an hour every night. And what's it about? Because I, I have tapes, but you know, I, I get so busy. <laughs> you live uh, with you a know, family it's, it's or a wide something? No, it's, it's sort of a wide-ranging news program. You know, we cover the daily news and, and uh, sort of take you beyond the headlines. And, and what is, I just, and again, I mean this only with affection, what are your qualifications? <laughs> Well, I, uh, I, you know, I'm 37 now, and I started when I was about 22 as a, as a war correspondent, uh, traveling overseas, going to wars. Now, your mother is one of the most beautiful women of the world. <laughs> Gloria Vanderbilt! Uh, yeah, that's very kind. I'm, she'll be very thrilled that you said that. Well, she is. I remember when, when, when she went into labor with you. It was at Studio 54, and I was <laughs> having a white Russian with Halston, and he said, look at that! I mean, it's, it all seems so, 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 such a short time ago. That's true. Liza was my wet nurse, yeah. <laughs> yes, she was. Liza is many people's wet nurse. <laughs> so here's what I'm saying, Anderson. So you, you go in there and, and there, they, you have, first of all, you have a degree in political science. Yeah. Do you ever yeah. think you'll get to use it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Because I've, I've, I've seen the work. And the, and the young love you. You did Rock the Vote. I, I did. I moderated a Rock the Vote, which was uh, all the Democratic primary candidates. And that was very effective. <laughs> would you get seven seven rappers up who who, who who had just done some PCP? That was very good on you. <laughs> but you are you represent the next generation, don't you think? But how is it that you're affecting them? <laughs> um, well, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I think uh, people of any age respond. <laughs> can you see me better now? Yes, I can. For the first time. <laughs> well, now that I see you're not as young as I thought. <laughs> so, so your secret is that you can, how do you relate to them? Because you don't talk down to them intellectually, that I know. I, I think you just try to be yourself, you know, I just, uh, I don't pretend to be something I'm not, and, and um, I, you know, I guess some people respond to that, and I, and I appreciate it. Gee, and you know what, I, it's, it's you, know, you know that moment, you must have had it where you ask someone something, and you're hoping that the answer <laughs> will hold your interest, just for a good ten seconds, but there's... I think that one of the strengths that you have is that there's a drone to your voice, and it's almost <laughs> hypnotic. It's so in a way it's soothing, in a way it's depressing, and I think that's your that's your strength and that's your combination. <laughs> I want to say this to you, Anderson Cooper. I think you're wonderful, and I think you're the wave of the future, and I think you're a genius, and I think oh Jesus, one minute, and one minute. Let me ask you, here's something I've always wanted to ask someone like you. Do you think it's important for someone to now, let's say Brian Williams, he does the news. Should he then go to the internet and answer questions? Should these newscasters think in terms of the internet and the whole picture? What do you think of that question? What do you think of that question I just asked you? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. No. But I actually respond, I listen, I, I'm on the internet all during my program. And uh, <laughs> I, I think that's good. It's a little bit like crack, though, because, you know, once you start, you can't, you can't stop. Well, I know, and I know. I Listen, I was, for a long time, I once did mescaline at Roddy McDowell's. And the next thing I knew, <laughs> I was buck naked on top of a Buick, and I was driving along. And, and you know, I know the, the, the pitfalls of such things. So please, <laughs> get off the crack, Anderson Cooper. No one wants to see you on crack. No one. Crack and that means <laughs> crack is whack, absolutely. This has been fun. I wanted to ask you about grooming products. I didn't have time. And I know you have a dog named Molly. I do have a dog named Molly. Okay, that's right. all. You know what? No one cares. Anderson Cooper, <laughs> thank you so much. This has been absolutely mediocre. <laughs> Jiminy Glick, it's been a pleasure. God bless you, sir. Off you go. When we come back, Larry King is back in the guest seat, but this time he's got company. Ha <laughs> ha!